Put your mask up, yeah. But you can't walk in like that. With Allah's name, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. With Allah's name, the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. All praises are due to Allah, the Lord, keeper, evolver, sustainer of all the worlds. Wassalatu, and may the prayer. Wassalamu and may the peace Allah Rasulahi Kareem Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam be upon his honorable, noble and generous messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen and we thank Allah for this brotherhood we thank Allah for allowing us to be Muslims and believers and as Muhammad the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say we don't truly believe unless we desire the good for our brothers as we desire for ourselves and have that love and that strong and say what we can to each other all out of love. Good history as Muslims and believers. We love each other and we ask Allah to increase that and desire good. Whatever good we desire for ourselves, desire that for our brothers and sisters. And we pray. And we pray. And to show us that. Rock Benan. O oh, our Rabb. Most you do are you Rabb Benan. O oh, our Lord. Collected. Even when I say by myself, what do you want to say? Rabb Benan anti nafi dunya hasanatain. Where I feel accurate to hasanatain. Why do you that been not? O our Rabb, give us the best in this life. The dunya, the best, the hasan, the beauty, the excellence in this life. And don't break the chain. Well, still accurate, hasan, the same word, now and later. Now, next day, next day, next day, in the big accurate. Give us the excellence, the pretty things, the beautiful, the best. So we'll have the best family, the best business, the best messages, the best marriage, the best health. The best 
situation, the hustle, the beauty. And this word is so powerful. We always talk about it. Allah says to him belongs the hasid, the best of names. You know, Salatu Kairo many now. Kairo, Kairo. Good. Salat is better, right? Kairo. Okay, fellas. How are you? Kairo. Good. So it's different. But it's hasid, excellence, beauty. The best, as Muhammad the Prophet Sallallahu say, when a Muslim seeks to do something, he seeks to do the best. And Allah used this same word in Surah Al-Din when he says, Laka talab nala sanafi hasani taqwin. I've created you in the best upright statue. So we want the best for each other. Rabbana antinafi dunya hasana. Give us all, collective as a community, the best in this life. And give us the best in the next life and beyond and beyond. That's the beauty of Islam. That's the balance of Islam. The best now and the best later. Consistency, right? So, dear believers, again, we pray Allah will accept our Juma today. The Kutbah and the Salat and cleanse our hearts and our minds that our intentions will be clean and honorable. Alhamdulillah, And we know back on this Hassan, Husnan, all of that, right? Somebody named himself Hassan. That's pretty, right? Beautiful. Brother Hassan, they name it beautiful, excellent, good, pretty, right? Right by that, acting after you're doing a Hassan, keep that in mind. The power of that word, of that dua, that we ask from the Quran to give us the best, not the less. The good thing. And again, I can't say it enough. The best business, right? The best family. The best marriage. The best marriage situation. The best health. Now we know this pandemic. The best health. The best protection. The best health. Allah guide us. Not the less help, the best rubbing and anti nasty dunya in this world. Allah didn't create this world bad. Allah says He made, He given it to us. Get you down from here into the earth as your place of sojourn, as your place of livelihood, as your place of resurrection. Here. And Allah says, I've given all of this to you. The sun, the moon, I have made that subject to you. Read sort of the bee. And Allah says that. He's given us all of this in other places. And then he says in the sort of bee, you know that, he says after the bee has went through all that it has done, its primary objective, its major objective was what? To bring something, a drink. She fed on the lands, a healing for mankind. And then Allah says of the Quran, it is a healing and a mercy to those who believe. Same word, she said. So, dear believers, we play again. Allah accept our Juma today. Alhamdulillah, I mean. Mm -hmm. Cleanse our hearts and our minds. Our intentions are good and honorable. And as Allah says in this Surah Juma, Surah 62, always, since we, we know how important the Juma is, it's in the Quran, Surah Juma, 62. And as Muhammad the Prophet say, this is the most important day of the week, the life of the Muslim. Say, on this day our father Adam was created, and it is on this day we will be resurrected. And they say the angels take attendance as we come in. And then when the khutbah began, they sit down and listen to the khutbah. And Allah says in Surah Jumah, and we'll keep moving, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. You said, Behold, Elahi, Mafi, Semewati, what Mafil, Adi, Maliku, Kudusul, Azizul, Hakim. That whatever is in the heavens and in the earth, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. You said, Behold, same word, Subhanallah. You said, Behold, Elahi, Mafi, Semewati, what Mafil, Adi. Whatever is in the heavens and the earth, brothers and sisters, do glorify Allah. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. 
and he gives four attributes. As what? As 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 El Melech, as the sovereign ruler. Everything in the heaven, and we're going to touch on that from Quran today, inshallah, also with the ayat, we the sword we're going to look at. He said, everything in the everything. You said be holy lahi mafi, whatever, man. Whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. Subhanallah. As El Malik, this is your kingdom. You're the sovereign ruler. You're in charge of everything. El Malik. El Kadus. So next one. Look how specific, how Allah said, north, east, south, west, whichever way you want to go. He's given four attributes. Four like God. That's the max, right? Allah says to Muhammad, the Prophet says to Allah, that he's a Rahmatil Alameen. The other prophets had specific, right, to the odd people, to the children of Israel, to the Zamud, Jonah, to Nineveh. All of them had specific dominions, right? Well, Muhammad, the Prophet, Rahmatil Alameen, north, east, south, west, wherever you're at, he's a mercy to all the worlds, right? The seal of the prophets. To everybody on this earth. And Allah says in Surah Juma, He gives the four. You said me who lie, he mafi semewati wa mafil ante. As Amalek. This is whatever is going on in this existence. Allah is the king, he's in charge. It all submits to him willingly or unwillingly. Al Kadus, right? The holy one. The source of righteousness. Al Kadus. The source of we turn to him for to be righteous. Right? To be righteous. Holy. So we don't be tripping and saying, I'm holier than thou. The source of righteousness and holiness, Allah is the all holy to translate it over. Kadus. And then it says what? What's the next one? Al Kadus? Al Aziz. We hear that all the time, right? Aziz. The mighty, the powerful king, righteous king, for us to grasp it as the best that we can, but we know we can't fully grasp it because Allah says that I do. Of course, you you can. And then he ends that for the Juma, the first ayat, Al Hakim, the Judge, the All Wise, the All Wise Ruler, the All Wise Holy One, the All Wise Powerful. Know how to distribute the power, etc., etc. So that's Juma. And that, when you reflect on that from Surah Juma, when you really reflect on that, you know why in Surah 8, Ayat 8, 9, when they say, when the cause of Juma is made, close the business, you know why, because you're glorifying Allah. The first Ayat tells you why you do that. Why you assert yourself to start thinking on Allah? Then close the business and come, right? Why? The first ayat tells you that. Now we talk about the ayat 8 and 9. Juma's call, gotta go, close the business. But Allah lets you know in the first ayat. Because you're coming to glorify Allah. You're coming to be in succinct, consciously, with everything in the heavens and the earth. We're in succinct anyway, because Allah is totally in charge, right? But you're coming consciously to be in succinct. You send me to subhanAllah, subhanAllah, subhanAllah. That's what we do now, glorifying Allah, right? To the best of our ability. So we're in succinct. So alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, we thank Allah for allowing us. And we pray for those uh, brothers and sisters who, for whatever reason, whether it's this pandemic or their job or other situations, where they can't come to the Juma. We pray Allah will guide them, have mercy on them, and when situation is right, let them come. Or wherever they at, perform the Jamaat. But you have three or more, right? So alhamdulillah, he read the Alameen. Dear believers, Muslim brothers and sisters, last week, but always let us walk with this, as this year ends here where we're at in the West, as this year ends, let us keep this in mind as we pointed out last week from Bakara, Ayat 186. 
where Allah says, When my servants ask concerning me, tell them I am near. Kharib. Tell them I'm near. Kharib, close relative. You tell them that's the word, Kharib. In another place, he says, I'm closer to you than your younger man. And he says, and I respond. I answer, you were 186 of Bakara Sutta. And I respond to him, the person who makes a dua, he mentions it three times. When that person who makes a dua makes the dua to me. When he makes a dua, and that person who makes the dua makes it to me, not to a tree, not to a man, not to a woman. Not to the president, not to the job. When he makes the dua to me, he said, I'll respond. Read Ayat 186. I will answer it. He says, so respond to me. Answer me when I ask you to make the salat, to give in zakat, to be kind to humanity, to be the best that you can, to be a good person. Whatever Allah asks us to do, right? He says, so respond to me and believe in me. So you, la Allah whom? So that they, because he's telling them that they will be Yarashudun Rash Rash Rashid Rashid, the rightly guided. So we look at this remind us always, Allah is near. Whatever you're going through, good, bad, whatever, Allah said in another place, he's closer to us than our juggler vein. <laughs> you know what that, that's our life arteries. Those are the arteries or whatever that pump the blood to the brain and the heart back and forth. I think it says four. Your very life. Allah said he's closer than that. <laughs> so he's there. He's there. And so, dear believers, just a few ayahs from the Quran. From Surah 20, as we close out this year as we know it, and go into the new year as Muslims and believers, always consistent. And you know, I just saw Allah say, a day to Allah is as a thousand years of our time. <laughs> so I'm saying now, we go by where we're at in the U.S., in the West. So. Nobody don't get technical on me and say it's not the new year according to the Islamic calendar. I'm talking where we at. And interesting enough, the this go by the sun, etc. Islamic go by the moon, etc. The lunar calendar. But just to mention that the calendar in Islam is not based on the birth of Muhammad the Prophet it's not based on the finality when he completed it and came in and took Mecca back. Do you know the Islamic calendar is based on the Hijra? The Hijra. Muhammad the Prophet migration from Mecca to Medina. Allah gave him that through after persecution and abuse. And when they reached the point where they tried to kill him, right? And Allah revealed it, and him and his close companion, Abu Bakr Sadiq, they left. But Ali, relative, laid in the bed when they plotted to kill him. And when they're quarrelling their enemies, it took a lot because they believed in that time, tribal time. But you know what drove them to that? Allahu Ahad, Tarahi. Teaching oneness, because they believed in a, had an idol for every day of the year around the Kaaba. Right? So he's teaching Tarhi, oneness. Ikhlas, so Ikhlas 112. Kuhu Allahu Ahad, right? Kalas, and you know, we mentioned it last week. Ikhlas, Ikhlas is from the Kalas, Kalas. Ikhlas, Kalas means it's finished. Right? You know, we talk about Kalas, Kalas, that's it. Nothing else to talk about. One God. So he's teaching that and getting the momentum. It was that for the first 10 years. He hadn't set up the community, went to Medina. They got fed up with their own man, their own son.
Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who they raised, who they loved, who they left their treasures with, they knew him. One time he said, if I tell you that there's an army coming to destroy you, would you believe me? How can you ask us that? Of course, you're Elamine. We call him truthful, right? He did something else. Of course, we know you. We, 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 we raised you. You're one of us. He said, but I tell you, now you say this. Oh, man, man you, you got anything from me, bro. Oh, we go back. I know you, man. Man, you know I know you, man. When I used to go such and such, I trusted you so much, I used to leave it in your house, man. And Muhammad the prophet said, okay. So on the strength of you knowing me for 40 years, I say, la ilaha illallah. And they growled. They couldn't accept that. Right? But they knew him. And so it was on the strength of him teaching that that they plotted to kill him, one of their sons. It took a lot. But they finally got together. He's of the porridge, the noble tribe, the chiefs among tribes, right? Settle, you can read about that. And they got on board for teaching the oneness of Allah. They persecuted good family people so much so, Muhammad the prophet, the first migration, right? The, 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 the first and foremost had to go to Abyssinia to get protection from a Christian king from their own people. And Allah gave him permission. So as he leaves, the migration from that savagery in Mecca, and he goes to Medina, where it's calm and peaceful. And if any of you have traveled, it's still, the difference is still there. Mecca is upbeat. Medina is still more calm and serene. So he goes there, he's invited. It's called youth then. And he goes there and establishes the first Muslim Umar, right? Builds the masjid, etc., right? And on his way there, they try to get to him. He go into a cave, right? And Allah calls a spider with it, right? To save him. And he was getting ready to go in the cave and say, oh, he's not in there because the spider way would be broken, etc. So he goes from that to Medina. That's progression. From madness to calmness, growth, development. So much so, Muhammad the prophet, upon his passing, he's not buried where he's born in the sacred city of Mecca, right? We have Mecca and Medina. Muhammad the prophet dies and is buried in Medina. So the Islamic calendar, when you see it, you'll see A.H. after Hijra. So it's based on that mighty event that brought about a great change. So when you see A.H., it's about 500 year difference or so. You see A.H., that's the after Hydra, that migration, that progression, that movement, growth. Because with there, it began to grow. Then he come back victorious. So, for what we're saying here, inshallah, we move into the new year. So we want to go to just a few ayahs from Quran. So 20. So 20. So 20 is Tawhat. So 20. Just a few ayahs. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. ما أنزلنا إليك القرآن لتشكو. Always remember this. What he said to Muhammad the Prophet Islam and to us through Muhammad the Prophet. Man, we have not sent down this Quran as a means of distress for you. You hear that, brothers and sisters? Islam is not to be a burden or distress. Allah said, no, do what you can. We have not, I'll read it again, to Muhammad the Prophet. 
cat, and we follow Muhammad the Prophet. The Quran is for all. He's a mercy to all of mankind, right? Ma anzalna alayka. Assalamu alaykum alay. On, right? Unto cat, you, individual Muhammad, says so Islam. Quran, it mentions this specific. You know, we have Kitab, the book, etc., right? Here he makes it clear. We did not send this Quran. Muhammad the Prophet said, I'll leave you two things, right? The Quran and my life example. You follow that, you'll be all right. And Aisha radiallahu anha said, Muhammad the Prophet was the living Quran. And Muhammad the Prophet said, The best of you is he who learns Quran and teaches to others. But to show you Quran is a mercy from Allah in Surah Rahman, right? That's Surah 55, right? What does that say? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allah Rahman. Boom. The most gracious, the merciful benefactor. Well, what did he do? Elamal Quran. That Rahman, it didn't say Nazala, he sent down and said, Elamal Quran. Taught Quran. So relearning the Quran, being given the Quran, is an act of his mercy, right? He said, Oh Rahman, Elamel Quran, Kalakal and San, etc., right? So Quran is it, is, is, and we know that because every soul except nine begins with what? Bismillah, Rahman, then Rahim, Rahman, general, gracious mercy, right? Each soul except nine. And then it's repeated twice. In Surah 27 to make up, so it's still mentioned 114 times. Go to Surah 27, Ayah 30, in Solomon's letter to Sheba. And it opens, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, making it still 114 times in the Quran. But anyway, it's his mercy, Quran. I sent it as a mercy. And then in another place, Allah says, as a rahmatil and a healing for believers. Mighty Quran. Well, all times. So Allah says here in this Surah 20, as we just, Rahman 55. So know that the Quran comes as a mercy, taught as a mercy from Allah. A Rahman, Alamal Quran, right? The most gracious. And Muhammad the Prophet, in keeping with that, what did he say? The best of you is he who learns Quran and teach it to others, right? Alhamdulillah. We have not sent it down to be a means of distress on your life. And look what Allah said. Illa takirat Except is nothing. But now listen to this. Thicker, thicker, thicker will be the root. But this is just the grammar instruction. As a reminder, thicker, right? A reminder, warning. For him who fears Allah with a sincere heart. I didn't send it as a distress, a burden. I just sent it to you as a reminder, as a revelation. For you good-hearted, for you who, who, who fear Allah. Not like you scared, it's a fear, a loving fear, like taqwa, a loving fear of Allah, right? Tanzeelan mimma qallaqa qallaqa wa samawatil a revelation from him who, and this is interesting here, most times you'll see semi-wati wal the heavens and the earth. But in this ayah, Allah says, a revelation from him who created the earth where you at first. And then he says, was semi and the sky on high. Right? When we go to Sajda, what do we say? Subhanahu wa 
Ana, when we're in the lowest position, we acknowledge that he's the highest, right? When we're in the lowest, subhanahu wa ta'ala, glory to my Lord, the most high. I'm in the lowest position, right? So he says, a revelation from him who created the earth. The earth first, that's what comes to mind. Just like we say, Rock Banner Antin Abidunya, give me the best in this life first. Well, I feel accurate, right? And protect us from the torment of the hellfire. Because this is the proving ground, right? We're on this earth, right? This is Dunya. Based on what we do here, it's going to determine for us where we go, right? This is the proving ground, right? It don't say wait till you die. And based on what you do when you're dead or whatever that is, you're going to get this. While we're here right now, on this earth, right? Depending on what we do here, we're striving to earn Jannah by what we do here, the best. So Allah says, it is he who sent down him who created the earth and the sky on high. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Now listen to this next ayat. So beautiful, the fifth ayat. O Rahmanu Allah Ashi Istawa Rahman Rahman established himself on the throne. Ashi, right? He establishes himself on the throne of all of this. Right? A magic, right? And in the next ayat, the sixth ayat, very beautiful before we call first part of the book. Just remind you. From this sort of here thought. Lehu to him. Lehu Mafi. Now listen to the chain. Mafi semewati wa mafil on. Here he mentions the sky and the earth, right? Before he said the earth and the sky, right? Lehu Mafi semewati wa mafil on di. Wa ma be na human. Wa ma te te thereon. Oh, so beautiful. To him. Belong just like the ayat from Juma, right? Just don't give the attribute. To him belongs, like who? Whatever is in the sky, in the heaven, so specific, and whatever is in the earth. And listen to this. And what is between the two? <laughs> I'm getting nothing. Whatever belongs to him in the sky, whatever. And in the earth, and whatever is between the two, right? Sky and earth belong to Allah, right? Well, we see it or not. But listen to how this ayat ends. He says, And whatever is buried into the earth, whatever's in the soul of the earth that we can't see. The heavens, I mean, it covers it all, right? What's in the sky? What's in the earth? What is in between? What's buried in the soul of the earth? And you know we get buried there, right? <laughs> so I say he covered all of it. No escape. All of it belongs to him. Just like a snake, part of his creation. A spider, part of his creation, right? But it's all good. Allah said, He created all in truth, in reality, right? In goodness. But, that snake ain't good for us, that poison one, right? That spider can do us in, right? And other things that can hurt us. But Allah created it all good and it glorifies Him, right? So the same with the air, the environment. If there's a pandemic, if, if there's a virus that may be a danger to us, well, what is it doing? Subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah. Because this is His kingdom. But we have to tie our camel, right? So there are things we can know right now. Allah created the pig. Who created the pork? Shaitan didn't create it. Stay away from it. For several reasons. He created things that's a danger to us, right? But that don't mean they're naturally bad. Allah said he created all things good. They have their own way. You know what Allah said? He said there's not a creature crawling or otherwise on this earth or the birds with his wings that don't know his mode of worship, that don't worship Allah, right? And he says, every creature crawling and flying 
has an umma, a community just like you. They have their life in their community. All of it is good. So, and then we'll, we'll read it here in, in, in the first part. So 20, Allah says, Well, in touch, touch harder, bit of Galilee. If you speak openly, open, like I'm speaking, like we speak openly, and some salah is open, said, spoken out, right? Allah says, فَإِنَّهُ يَأْلَمُ سِرَ وَأَحْفَرَ Or whether you keep it hidden and secret. He knows. Whether you do it aloud or keep it hidden or secret, Allah says, يَأْلَمُ He knows. And just to, for us, we can see it is some salah said aloud. And some will say silent. And as I recall, Fedja allowed, my grill to allow, to allow, I think most of them are silent, right? Four, four, that's eight. Yeah, and then, then in Isha, you got two more that's silent. And my grill, and most of them are silent. Ain't no getting away, brother. Allah lets you know whether you speak it aloud or keep it silent. Why? As we point it out, Allah says, when my servants ask concerning me, tell them I'm near. And in another place, say, I'm closer to you than your chapel of in your very life itself. Then another place, Allah says, I know the thoughts that you have before you even manifest them. And this ayat 8 within, Allah says, as we started out with this word, Allahu la ilaha illa huwa lahu asma'u husna. Allah, there is none worthy of worship but him. And to him belongs the best of names. <laughs> Hassan, Hassan, husna. Just the, just the dumb one, etc. But it's the hard H, the S, and the noon. To him belongs the best of names. As we pray the dua, Rabbana Akinafi Dunya Hassan, right? Same word. Well, I feel accurate, Hassan. What can I have been not, right? And Allah says of us, I created you in the best mode. It's so beautiful. So to Allah belongs the best of name. And then we won't go there, but it says, Has not the story of Moses reached you? But I've been an acting after doing a Hassan the thing. Well, I feel accurate, Hassan the thing. What can I have been not? And him that is like. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulihi kareem. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Abad. Uh, dear believers, again we pray Allah accept our Juma today. Cook by the salat. Cleanse our hearts and our minds that our intentions will be clean and honorable. And we ask Allah as we say all the time, please, O oh Allah, give us the best in this life. Give us the best, what I've been acting as you doing here. So we have the best master situation. We have the best brotherhood. We have the best marriage. We have the best family. We have the best health. We have the best job. We have the best reputation. It is no limit. I said, what I've been acting as you doing here. And then it says, what the accurate has And in the future, the life beyond this life here. I'm doing the best that I could. That's what you say, right? Be sincere. I'm doing the best. I want the best now. I make mistakes. Allah said if he was going to punish you for every mistake, every sin. He said it wouldn't be. He didn't just say you wouldn't be here. Allah said it wouldn't be a creature. Go look at it. Nothing. An ant, a bird, a snake, a fly. Nothing. He said, he said, he said it wouldn't be a creature on this earth. Meaning he is the perfect. So we ask Allah for the best now and in the future and to be protected from the torment of the hellfire. So dear believers, Surah 20 
And now we'll just go to so 22. <laughs> 22, and we pray that as we go into 22, life will be better and better and better and go from 2022. Right? That's, and, and you know, this second part, I suggest my thing is just read Quran. And whatever I can do, encourage us. Like I tell some of the brothers, whenever your birthday comes, read that chapter of the Quran. That's just encouragement, right? You know, I'm not making up, man. You turn 25, read so 25. You may not read it at all, all year round until Ramadan. That's just encouragement. You turn 64, read so 64. Now, when you turn 150, ain't nothing I can say. But you get the message. When that baby is born, and he's one years old, you're going over out fatty out with him all the time, right? When he turns two years old, you're eating bakura, right? You turn 30, so wrong. You turn 55. <laughs> oh, beautiful, right? Oh, Rahman! That's just encouragement, right? And you reach 114. Oh, man. So I see refuge. I made it this far. Deep number, right? Cool old Uber Rabbin Nas, right? I seek refuge with three attributes. Cool old Uber Rabbin Nas. Malik and Nas. Elah and Nas. Because if you've been, you reached that and you read through that, you got Islam. And you want to protect it. Because Allah says when He wants to guide someone, He expands His Sadur with Islam. And that's what that source says. I see refuge in Kula Ubabe Rappinaz, Malikinaz, Elahinaz, Rinshira Waswasil, Khanaz. From the whisperer who whispers Khanaz. You want to hear this word? Khanaz. And he withdraws. But that word is associated, you read one of, one of the sources, Ayat 80, where he speaks of the star, my next he says, as the star Khanaz, as it withdraws. So you'll see the star sometimes and you don't, right? So he says, Shaitan operates like that, right? So you see three after boom, boom, boom. Who whispers, right? And then he whispers where? Who will be rapping that, malikin that, and Latin that, mention your watch with self and that, and let be your watch with Sufi, Sudurin that. He whispers in here. Go read Surah 6, I think it's Ayat 125. Allah said when he wants to guide you, he puts it, he expands your chest with his lung. Go read it. He puts it in here. And so Allah said protect this. Because that's where shaitan is trying to get. What's in here? Your heart, your lungs, your very life, your treasure chest, right? Isn't the chest the treasure chest? This is where our treasures are, right? The heart and the two lungs. That's it. So you associate that with Islam, as Muhammad the prophet said, there's a piece of flesh that's in here. If it is good, the whole body is good. If it is bad, the whole body is bad. And he points right here, the heart. And look what's there. Three major treasures. Heart and two lungs. And what do Allah say? How do you protect it? He gives you three attributes. Cool old do they have been nice? Protect my heart, right? Malik in that, Southern ruler, my right lung. Elah in that, three attributes. And he put Islam here, but that's what Shaitan tried to get it from among men and gen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So, dear believers, so 22 as we, if you want to, it's on my connect. 2022 20, as we move into this new year. We pray a lot, God has protect us each and every day. And as we gave a little history of the Islamic calendar, it's based on Hijrah. And it's the, the lunar calendar. And it's the glory is the sun. But the Muslims used to be, it used to be that too, but it was changed, right? Everybody went on the sun. But Allah says, just to settle this, I want to say this, that Allah made the sun and the moon as a means of calculation. A lot can be said. <laughs> it's so important, a lot mentioned in the Quran. Isn't that something? 
We just don't have time. A lot, a whole soul called what? The star, <laughs> 53. The moon, 54. And to show you the beauty of it, way down the other end, the star and the moon is together. That's why right now, they are at night together, right? The sun is not, right? 12 hours away. So you go to, I think it's 91, it's Shanks. The sun, a solar. So what does a lot bring? Star, moon, and sun. Even though we say sun, moon, and star, a lot show the small light, star, then a bigger light, moon, then way down. So it's a development from darkness into light, as Ibrahim alayhi salam. Allah says, when the night covered them over, right? Did he look at the sun first? Did he look at the moon first? Allah says, he looked at the star and said, this is my right. And when it set, he said, I love not that which sets. Then when he looked at the moon, to get a little light, little light star, more light, ah, this is my rabbi. And when it set, he said, if my Lord does not guide me, go read it, I will be of those who go astray. Then when the sun, Shamsi Akbar, and when the sun set, he said, I'm free. And I turned my whole self and when you read some of the translations, it'll say to the creator of the heavens and the earth. But when you read the Quran in Arabic, it'll say to the originator, al fatir of the heavens and the earth. Right? So he went through three stages of development, just like we go through. So now we go to 